um, just continue hammering on the details. You know, I think as much success as Ben or myself or anybody else had, um, we still left some things out there on the table, some things we need to clean up. So hammering those details out and knowing we can be better. He might not look like him now. He said in high school he was pretty much as a tight end, but strictly a receiver. Do you see those? Do you see the receiver skills though there from, from yeah, him? Yeah, absolutely. Um, he's a really athletic cat now. And, uh, you know, he played fullback. Uh, I think he's, he's able to be diverse and speaks to his skill set. Malik had his first touchdown, but then he also had that huge kick return that set up your guys' third score of the night after they had tied everything back up. How, how big was his performance? Yeah, um, Malik's performance was huge, and he's an incredible leader on this team. We need him to be successful and um, need to get him involved. And I know he recognizes that, we recognize that, and I think he's the best receiver in the Big 12, you know. Um, so him being able to make plays like that in a big game really helped us, and uh, we're going to need him to make some more. When you're watching the tape and, and you see the smallest guy on the team being one of your best pass blockers, uh, what do you what do you think about that when you see a Deuce Vaughn just like cracking guys at that point? Yeah, um, not surprised. But I, I did miss some of those in real time. I went back, watched the film, and I see Deuce just laying into some guy who's 6'4", you know, 250. And, um, you know, we say so many good things about Deuce. Guy just has a fearless mindset, and I think that's part of what makes him such a, a special athlete. And even then, another smaller guy, Phil Brooks, on that that last run, he was holding the block for, you know, almost 10 seconds. You know, those little plays, that's that's what helps us win. You know, it's it's Malik's long kick return, it's the special teams plays, it's the little blocks that all kind of add together that that help us win. We addressed it a little bit earlier, I didn't, but um, the run game. How much? Uh, how much of the quarterback run game was was by design, and also how much of it was maybe designed also to to help people lay off of off a of deuce a little. Yeah, bit. yeah. Um, I you know it's hard to put a number on it, but you know there was a good amount that were kind of reads that could go either way, and I think when you have those in our offense, it, it makes defenses choose. And you know there's a guy that might have to account for me that's now out of the box for deuce or vice versa. Um, and ideally, that's that's what we want. You know, we want to be able to help each other out. I'd like to think that I can help Deuce out in the run game, and um, that in turn will help us out in the pass game. So just continue to build on those things, becoming more efficient, and um, opening things up in the offense. Did you 